Don't do anything stupid. Oh my god. I have to get used to that. <laughs> So this is the second electric car that I'm test driving. I only tested the Tesla so far and now the Mustang mach -E is the second one and I'm really excited. It's really a little toy as well. Yeah. So it's kind of fun, you know, opening. There's no real door handles, how we're used to them. It's this button here. So now let's open up the, I guess let's open the front yeah. and, and the back and see how much space we have. Sandy Monroe had fun tearing this thing apart the other day. So we want to see it for ourselves. So maybe, I, I would guess also to pull on it. What? Oh yeah. And then again, there you go. Okay. Let's see what is in there. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit of space for some stuff. And as we heard, you know, it was kind of interesting. They had to put this divider in here because they needed to prevent people from being stuck inside. You can't put a baby in there, I guess. I don't know. And like, if you take this out, there is the inverter here and the motor is right below and then there is lots of holes for thermal management. So you yeah. should really watch the video I'll send you on row. It's kind of funny. The battery is right here along the floor on the car. Yep. It's around 288 battery cells, I think, like pouch cells. Probably they're like stacked like that in different modules we will show that so that's the rear lots of space here too okay let me show how much room there is so the nice thing about a lot of electric vehicles, you don't have this uh, hump in the middle in the back, which is really nice when you're sitting in the back, but lots of space with the aerodynamic wheels. I have to say, it's, it looks quite nice. Let's, Let's drive, drive it. it. Are you safe? Yes. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Let's start it. It says 251 miles, 100% SOC, so it's fully charged. We're in park mode right now. It's a big screen here. This is cool. Check yeah, it. so they wanted to have the feeling of a real knob, so they actually take the touch screen and then they attach this to the front of the screen. Okay, so change from park to drive. And yeah. now a little bit of gas. Of gas. <laughs> it's not really gas. A little bit of a electrons. Little bit of, um, yeah, a little electrons. Connectivity. Yeah. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah. Very quiet. <laughs> it goes pretty good. Okay. So now when you take your foot off the pedal, yes, it, this... it does brakes automatically. Oh yes, it does. And regen. That's completely different now. That feels completely different. One pedal drive. Now I do that. And once you stop, it stops immediately. Now if we turn one pedal drive off. Yeah. 
And now I'm stopping and I'm rolling, rolling, it's rolling. Coast. So when would you do one pedal driving? Yeah, some people use it all the time so that you don't use the brakes at all. Because one pedal driving only uses the regen of the electric motors to slow down. But it really it slows down a lot. Yeah. Then we, of course, have to go into unbridled mode. What is that? What does unbridled mean? This is the most acceleration. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> yeah, that's even wow. That's really good. Okay, I go now. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's really good. Oh my god. For an, even just the base oh version, it's god. really quite impressive. That is fun. We're just on a parking lot, but oh my gosh. Oh, now I feel a little bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to drive it? Yeah, I drive it. So this is fun too. So this is how you get out. Now it's your turn. Bye, baby. Take care, honey. Don't do anything stupid. Oh my God. It's really going fast if you want. It looks beautiful. I have to say, I like the one pedal drive. You like it? Yeah, I think I would use it all the time. And, and this thing is, for even just the base model, it's really fast, it's really fun. Now DC is driving. Dawn in charge. Dawn in charge. I like the steering wheel. It's got a great feeling. The car feels, for such a heavy vehicle, it feels very nimble and sporty, I guess. I, I expected it to feel heavier. The, the look and feel is quite nice. I'm, I'm impressed. So I have to say the navigation system in this is really nice, uh, especially compared to the current version that we have in the Edge. So this is really much nicer. Oh yeah, probably it tells you where the next charging station is. Four dealerships charging stations, it says here. Now it's loading. Let's see if they can find it. Are there charging stations around here? It's loading and loading. And loading. Oh yeah, found some. But oh, it took okay. it took like two minutes or three minutes to load it. Thirty seconds. So the next charging stations are like two point six miles, three, four, five miles away. How does it feel to drive to Ford Edge now? It's still nice, but I have to say it doesn't feel as quiet and smooth as as driving the Mach-E. I definitely feel like I went back in time a little bit, driving a bit more primitive of a vehicle. But it's still nice. Still sure. good. Sure. So I'm looking forward to our F-150 Lightning. You mean the F-150 Lightning? Yes, the F-150 Lightning. <laughs> We are in a closed course, so don't try this at home. She's a trained professional. And those tire marks are not from us. Awesome, honey. Okay, so the battery. I'm so tired right now, so if we would have an electric car and we would be charging right now, I think I would just take a nap. So this is my suggestion for everyone that is scared about that it takes too much time to charge a car, just take a nap in the car 